Fallout 5 The 8th of May 2018 is Fallout 5 confirmed. Sadly, for virtual radiation and nuclear genocide fans, not yet. But it has been a few years since we witnessed the bombs drop and sojourned through the aftermath in Fallout 4's Boston, and so we are already itching to play Fallout 5 unless that's that pesky Radroach fight. No, we're pretty sure it's excitement. Speaking of our most anticipated Bethesda games, here is everything we know about The Elder Scrolls 6. Numbered releases in the series can be many years apart, so we could be waiting some years before we can pick at the remains of another Fallout 5 location. So, for the moment, we'll have to be satisfied with rumors and hearsay, there is little in terms of Fallout 5 news. Our vault rating and mutant splattering senses still tingle, however, and that's not because of the radiation. Below you'll find everything we know about Fallout 5. Fallout 5 release date as yet, there's no confirmed Fallout 5 release date. We have waited as long as a decade between entries to our favorite post-apocalyptic series in the past, but we were treated to Fallout New Vegas just two short years after Fallout 3. That said, New Vegas was a spin-off. In other words, it's hard to predict when Fallout 5 could come out, we have almost nothing to go on, but we're crossing our grubby scavenger fingers that we see Fallout 5 in 2018. If that's the case, we'll likely get an announcement at Bethesda's E3 2018 showcase Fallout 5 news we'll break this to you early, there is very little Fallout 5 news around. However, we do know that Bethesda think carefully about adding multiplayer to each of its major releases. Speaking to Mashable in 2015, series director Todd Howard said, Believe it or not, every time we do a game we design a multiplayer mode just to see what we could do. Fallout is a single-player focused series, so if there was Fallout 5 multiplayer, this would be a huge change of direction that would require considerable resources. Perhaps a new engine could help make this possible? A Zenimix job listing indicates that the company are looking for an engine programmer to develop cutting-edge technologies. Some players found Fallout Fuzz graphics dated, so there's a chance that Bethesda have already invested in a new engine or are upgrading an existing one for Fallout 5 and beyond. We also know that, according to Bethesda Vice President Pete Hines in 2016, their other big hitter, The Elder Scrolls VI, will be the last of three projects to appear that they are working on. Perhaps you can see where we're going with this, could one of the other projects be Fallout 5? Fallout 5 setting plenty of new Fallout 5 locations have been rumored but we have no concrete evidence on the winner. We have picked the five settings we would like to see already, but here are the most rumored locations currently buzzing around the internet. New Orleans Ever since a trademark application for Fallout New Orleans was filed to the EU Intellectual Property Office in 2016, rumors of a Deep South addition to the series have been swirling. We have visited swampy environments before in Fallout 3's DLC, Point Lookout, and Far Harbor in Fallout 4, so take this rumor with a pinch of salt. Chicago Trivia Time When have we visited Chicago in the Fallout series before? 10 points if you recalled the intro to Fallout Tactics. We may have only visited the home of Al Capone and Deep Dish Pizza briefly, but there's a chance that it could be a Fallout 5 location. In New Vegas, Eddie hints at Enclave outposts in Chicago, after all. Alaska Another rumored destination that has appeared in the series already is Alaska. But that was just before the bombs dropped in the Great War of 2077. Operation Anchorage, the first Fallout 3 DLC pack, is named after the greatest battle in the series' alternative universe, the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska from occupying Chinese troops. In the DLC you travel back to 2076 via your Pip-Boy, but it would be great to trace the aftermath of this famous fight in Fallout 5. 
Outside America a Fallout game has never been set outside the US, but could Fallout 5 be the first? Maybe we'll be venturing into Chinese or Russian territory to allow us to see the world-consuming conflict from the perspective of America's biggest Fallout foes. Equally, what about the European Commonwealth? Whether it is London, Paris, or Rome, it is an enticing prospect to visit Europe after decades of struggles over resources and civil wars decimated the Union Fallout 5 gameplay while we really liked it, Fallout 4 was not universally acclaimed. Few Fallout fans would count it as the pinnacle of the post-apocalyptic series, perhaps due to the reduced role-playing mechanics and disappointing graphics. When it comes to Fallout 5 gameplay, RPG devotees are hoping for more. Without any specific details to work with, we can only speculate as to how Fallout 5 will play. We expect to be exploring a rich, new, and desolate world, looting, and picking up quests that take us to other intriguing locales. Hopefully we get a deeper role-playing system, where choices actually, feel, consequential. It would also be great to see expanded dialogue options, we definitely have that at the expense of a voiced protagonist, which was introduced for the first time in the series in Fallout 4. Considering the amazing creations that were made in the previous game, perhaps Fallout settlements will return. Building bases added another wrinkle to scavenging as we kept our eyes peeled for two coffee cups to rub together to craft a posh new cozy. Bringing back materials from quests to expand and bolster our bases proved a compelling gameplay loop. Here's hoping we see expanded settlement options in Fallout 5, although you can have that already in Fallout 4 by taking advantage of its wide range of mods and console commands. Anything new in terms of Fallout 5 gameplay is anybody's guess, but perhaps we will see a VR version of the game launched close to, or simultaneously with, the standard game. In Fallout 4's case, we had to wait a little over two years from the main game's release before we could strap the Commonwealth to our skulls. The other elephant in the vault is multiplayer, which Todd Howard admitted is actively considered for each major Bethesda release. While it would be a significant sea change for the series, it is exciting to picture exploring the wastes with a friend and co-op Fallout Online. How about we take Fallout 5 multiplayer a step further? What if, like the Elder Scrolls Online, we get a Fallout MMO next? Could the wastelands of Boston, Washington, and Las Vegas be linked together in a persistent multiplayer world? It is no secret that Tesso launched in a terrible state. Marred by bugs, a high monthly subscription cost, and odd design decisions, the fantasy MMO turned things around to become one of the strongest MMOs on PC. Buoyed by this latent enthusiasm, it is certainly possible that Bethesda will use the lessons they learned the hard way with Tesso to explore the making of a Fallout Online MMO. A few years ago we might not have been so sure but we think now there is a chance that it could happen. Fallout 5 trailer since there is nothing in the way of a Fallout 5 release date, there is no trailer, either. Once any video footage for the next Fallout game appears, you know where to find us. Could we see Fallout 5 at E3 2018? And that, dear Vault Dwellers, is everything we know about Fallout 5. Let us know what you hope Fallout 5 will look like in the comments below.